What's going on, y'all? This is Nate from Nate in Your State. I'm here at the uh, San, what is it? The Jose uh, Jose Airport here in Medellin, Colombia. I was in the Medellin for a bit. Uh, you want to see some content, but uh, nothing like this. Um, actually, we actually going to the state of Bolivia, Bolivar, and um, I'm here with. What's going on? We go way back. We ain't gonna say what we did, but. <laughs> Yo, we, we, we know each other and we cool people, all right? So we gonna actually hit this place up because he's never been. He asked me, he said, yo, I remember from your videos, man, that, yo, this place look nice. You wanna go? I said, all right, yo, so that's where we heading right now. When we land, I'll let you know. Oh, I think they're boarding right now. Oh, it's not, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's us. All right, so, yeah, we, we, gonna, we, gonna, we gonna board this flight. It's raining, it rains a lot here in Medellin, all right? So hopefully it's gonna be all sunny by the time. But yeah, guys, this time around, the boys wanted to go see Cartagena for the first time. So me being a good host, I say, hey, let's go take a plane over there. I booked all of our flights. We hopped on Viva Air. And I kid you not, it took like seconds for us to get on the plane. And by the time we sat down, <laughs> we was already out and about and going up into the sky. Like they didn't even finish giving the instructions. But that's how fast it was. But honestly, it was a bittersweet moment to return to Cartagena. I think originally I didn't want to go based off of what it has been known for. And I do enjoy wholesome content, man. This is not throwing shade at anybody else or what they do in their videos, though. But to be honest, man, I was like, eh, if I go to Cartagena and if I do film, I know what you guys like. I know what y'all looking for. I just can't give y'all that. I'm sure I can figure out something to do over here and, and show you guys something new, something different here in Cartagena. I went here like a couple of more times after I left with the bros and I went back in there to really mingle with people and figure things out. So, but yeah, as I seen, you know, the uh, high rises from the plane and, you know, us landing and getting ourselves together it was a bittersweet moment man it, it almost felt good to be back because hey this is how i got my feet wet to the entire country so it was really good to be back here yet again to experience the country once again in the eyes of a tourist you know i'm coming back here with more skills i'm coming back here with more intel i'm coming back here sort of kind of seasoned into the field and i'm like i wonder how Cartagena is going to treat me this time around so once again, if you like this content, consider giving me a like, share this with your peers, and yeah, we're going to get right cracking up into this episode as we just arrived. We're on our way to our Airbnb, which is within the wall city. Wait, Bathroom up into room. this apartment. Yeah, I don't see Fridge, couches outside, small little kitchen. Stove is right here outside. This looks like something straight out of the movies, bro. It's a decent spot. Decent scratching spot. Everybody's out there. Hey. Sights, man. All right, y'all ready? What's going on, y'all? This is Nate from Nate in Your State, and yo, it's it's been a while since I did one of these vlogs over here in uh, Cartagena, and uh, like I said in like my Instagram post, if you're not following my Instagram, it's the same thing. It's Nate uh, Nate in Your State. That's my Instagram. All handles Nate in Your State, right? And like, yo, man, coming down here, I just have so much more confidence than I did before, man. Especially that my Spanish improved, man. I'm just mad hype. You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't getting hustled by nobody down here. I like, I know everything. He said, nah, man, you ain't gonna catch me with no trap. Try, try to catch me with the taxes? said, nah, man. At most, you only give these guys like 10 mil, because it costs like 10 mil to get anywhere, right? And then after that, like, it's just up to you on how you're going to communicate with other people. You get what I'm saying? So I'm like, yo, I feel my confidence. It's been a while. But that's what it is, man. You work on your Spanish and everything is dope. Hola, hola. Hey. <laughs> that's what it is. You know what I'm saying? 
it's just the confidence is just there, man. The confidence is just there. So I, I, I would highly recommend that you guys improve your Spanish. Because then you can walk these streets like you know what's going on. You feel me? Of course, still exercise caution. So I'm going to go by the hospital. I'm going to see if Marta is still there. And she's been cool people's like the first time I was there when I didn't understand nothing. So let's see if I can go over there and flex my Spanish. All right, vamos. No, right? This is where I was the first time I was here in Colombia, right? I'm just going to go up in here and just see what's up. I'm just going to have a conversation, if anything. You know what I'm saying? This is, this is how we do it. It's a different, it's a different crew. Uh, who can all say Marta? Marta? Marta. See, that's it. Yeah, that's, I'm like, that's the only person who I remember last time I was here. It's Marta. And, but that's it. Yeah, that, she's not here, y'all. Yo, I, I like street food, man. It's the street food section here in uh, Gethsemane. Yo, please excuse my quality. I don't have my best camera phone out with me. But the squire is here. Everybody's chilling. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Whatever he got, man. I was watching how they prepare him. That's the key. Like that joint. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm mad stuff in it. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out who to ask. See? Yeah, that looks nice, man. Yo, you see that, y'all? See? We, we got, so we got mojitos, limonada. Uh, Tienes limonada de coco, I see, or no? Limonada de coco. Oh, see, they got your lemon. Oh, where'd it go? <laughs> they got your limonada de coco. I told you. Okay. But uh, no veo, no veo limonada de poco. Po, sí, ¿Cuánto fue? Sí sí oh, sí hay, sí. Ah, oh, gracias. Yeah, man. I like the way how they prepare that. It's in the street food, my people. That looks mad good, man. <laughs> God, man. Oh, my gosh. I'm so glad I'm a greedy person. Oh, see, 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 you got it. Oh, you the man. What? Yo, these Cartagena episodes ain't gonna be too long. It's probably gonna get like at least an episode or two out of these things because I'm not here for long term and I only did like a couple of things, right? Just came to return. But let me tell y'all something, man. When I returned, and you know how I said earlier, your confidence got back. Stopped by one of the shops earlier on. And uh, it's like a shop I remember. I don't know if I remember the, the workers there because it has been like like nearly 10 months since I was last was there. About 10 months since I was last there. So whether during my last time I was there, I didn't understand nothing. I was afraid to even interact with people. This time around, it wasn't that bad. Because I had a whole conversation. I went to one of the ice cream shops here along the strip. Y'all know. They sell ice cream in restaurants. They invited me in, as always. You know, I stopped by, said no gracias. And I decided to take the bike this time. I said, yo, let me get an ice cream. Got an ice cream. And I started talking to one of the workers up in there. I said, all right, what you doing? Are you getting off? When are you getting off? I just want to walk and talk. And they're like, yeah. After she got off of work, we just started walking and talking. I started to understand a lot more. What I understand is that there are more Venezuelans here in Cartagena than in, I guess, any part of uh, Colombia. They are all over here. I think everybody that I've interacted with has been Venezuelan here. And ex including the ones that are annoying, right? Including the, some of the ones that are annoying that like get in your face and rap. I said, uh, I'll... I'll take the bite. Let me talk to y'all. Right? And I understand that, jeez, man, they have it rough, man. Now that my Spanish has improved and I can actually have conversations with them now, it's like, man, you learn a whole lot more, man. And I wish I was recording it, but that will be a hell of a buttload of things to, like, translate. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't, I don't like translating videos. That junk gets annoying. But, um... Yeah, I sat and had a chat, and it's, I know my Spanish is getting to a point that, you know, where I can start making jokes and stuff, you know? But, um, yeah, man, these people struggle. Venezuelans be struggling out here, you know what I'm saying? I be feeling some type of way, but 
I like the fact that I'm able to like travel now and interact with the culture. That's one reason why I said I don't think I'll ever go to Brazil unless I start to learn the language first. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know a lot of brothers like to go to Brazil to see what it's about. And I'm like, yeah, I would definitely like to go. It, but nah, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a man of culture. I have to learn the language. I have to learn Portuguese. There's like no ifs, ands, or buts about that. You know what I'm saying? Granted, I can still go. But knowing how I am, yeah, I would like to improve. And the exception, exception for uh, my first time doing these Nate and Yo State videos in uh, Latin America was, you know, I've already had some Spanish background, you know what I'm saying? I've already been learning. And uh, just coming out here it improved and solidified what I've already learned and I learned a lot more. So the person I was just walking with here in Cartagena after she got out of work, you know, we was just chatting it up. And of course, of course, I was messing up uh, with a lot of... Uh, with a lot of my words, you know what I'm saying? She was there to help me out. I said, yo, dang, man. People just want to live. And sometimes people just want to talk because what she kept telling me is that she enjoyed the, white, the, the walk because it allowed her to escape. I, I, I didn't know how to say, how to really translate it, but she was like, yo, her mind kind of disappeared when she was, we was chatting. And it, she liked that because it allowed her to really like unwind. And I was like, all right, yo. Like, yo, next time I'm, I come through this area, I'm like, yo, we can chop it up again. You know what I'm saying? And, um, yeah, man, this is, this is, it, got, it doesn't get any better, like, when you can talk to the people. And then I went to the restaurant that I was at, at Lights Now. Hola, hola. Como esta usted? Oh, uh, yeah, amen, amen. Todo bien conmigo. Uh, See, sí, uh, hasta, until what time? Hasta tiempo usted trabajo. Toda la noche. Sí, en la mañana, dos en la mañana. Oh, wow. Pero es, es muy duro, ¿sí? Necesita más dormir, ¿sí? Ah. Pero ahora. Ahora. Ocho de noche. Ocho de ocho. 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 Otra. Veinte o veinte, veinte cuatro horas. Veinte cuatro horas. Sí, pero yo. 12, 12 horas. Oh, okay, no, no es muy, pero es mucho, mucho tiempo. Oh, my. Uh, ojalá, ojalá, uh, ojalá, 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 hopefully you can. Ojalá usted puede dormir uh, pronto. <laughs> sí. Duermo poquito, sí. <laughs> eh, con, um, es un placer to, con... Sí, sí, saludarse. Mucho gusto. Soy Nate. Nate. <laughs> sí. Uh, no, no es tu... My name is Yvonne. Yvonne. Mucho gusto, Yvonne. All right. Nate. Sí. Sí. Gracias. Sí. Muchas gracias. Chao. You see what I mean? Like, well, as I'm improving, I can just just have like a random conversation and like my confidence just shoots up, man. I ain't wanna put it on the camera because I don't know how most of y'all gonna be acting. But yeah, man, my confidence just, man, like I'm be feeling myself now. So like, yeah, I can talk to people now. Let's get some practice. Let's see what I can actually learn. What I see, what, what you know, who I can interact with. You know what I'm saying? So as I get more confident and learn more, man, yo, these videos are going to be popping, y'all. Just stay tuned for that, man. So thank you very much for watching these videos. Thank you very much for staying to the end. If you actually stayed to the end for these videos, uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps the algorithm. It really helps me out. Don't forget to share these videos, you know, share amongst your peers. It helps the algorithm. It helps me out. It helps me, like, you know what I'm saying? Like... Get more videos out there, you feel me? Keep eating. Keep exploring. And I'll hit y'all up next time. Alright. Buenas noches. Nate in your state.